So that's an organization focused on addressing poverty in our province. Kel, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. So food banks were supposed to be you know, a temporary measure when they were brought in decades ago, but thousands of people continue to rely on them. In fact, need is, is increasing. How do you view the, the use of food banks in BC? Yeah, so Razor Rates, we're thinking about the systemic reasons why people need food banks. And like you said, about 30 years ago, they were supposed to be a temporary measure for people who are going hungry in the province. And the fact that they haven't left and the need is getting greater and greater shows that our government has a lot of work to do and a lot of work to pick up um, the slack and, and um, essentially like raise raise welfare rates, raise a whole bunch of um, minimum wage, disability, uh, all those things so that people ha are able to have the dignity and have the ability to purchase food for themselves. Um, we see charity as like a necessary band-aid currently, but we want people to be able to think a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger picture for how we can um, not need that those food banks in the first place. Okay, so as we are reflecting then on that bigger picture, what, what do you want people to think about it and uh, what more should be done to address poverty levels? Yeah, so the, the way I've read, raised the rates work, we do a lot of um, direct action and political advocacy. So that means we're pushing the government to listen to what the people are saying and we work mostly with low-income people um, and people who are on welfare. And they have a lot to say about how difficult it is to get by and how hard it is when you are living on welfare and needing to rely on food banks and we don't want um, folks who are low income and poor in this province to have to have this dependency on charity because charity is, is only as good as the generosity of people and I see the numbers that we have and they're like really exciting but nothing will ever replace um, the government you know fixing the gaps in the welfare net and fixing the gaps for um, social wel welfare for everybody because we know when we do that um, absolutely everyone in society benefits and, and the more we can close the gap between the poor and the rich the, the better it will be there are so many studies done about what equality means in society so, um, Kelly, this is a very important yeah. part of, of the conversation today. So, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks. That is Kel Girlings with Raise the Rates, an anti poverty organization. <laughs>